welcome to Geography Gen. Today um, I'm here in the county of Dorset, which is in the south of England. Um, and at the moment I'm looking down on a headland and a bay, which are geographical landforms. So I can show you where those are. If you look over in the far distance, you should be able to see the land there sticks out into sea, into the sea. That's what we call a headland. And the little bit here which curves inwards, this is Swanage Bay. Now the reason why you get headlands and bays is because of differing rates of erosion. So the sea hits the land and it erodes it through the process of hydraulic action and abrasion. But if the rock is softer, then it erodes it faster. And that's why you get a bay like Swanage Bay. Now you also get, inside bays, you get beaches. And you get beaches when deposition occurs. Deposition happens when the waves slow down and they drop down material and sediment like sand, creating that beach in that bay area. So I'm gonna show you this using an OS map. So if you have a look at this map here, and I orientate it in the direction that we're looking at. So north is sort of behind where you are, and we're looking in a southerly direction over there. Um, and what you should be able to see is I've created some rocks to show you the differing rates of erosion. So first of all, in the far distance, what you've got is you've got limestone. Okay, so if you look in the far distance, you've got limestone, which is a very, very strong rock, and that's why you get a headland. Then, next, you've got clay rocks, which I've overlaid here on the OS map. And you should be able to see, in the bay, it's made of clay, which is sort of a brownish, um, brownish, yellow, orangey type of rock. Then, um, as we carry on, you'll get to a section later on, or we'll get to a section later on, which is made of chalk, and that will create another headland here because this chalk rock is quite strong. And then you will then get, finally, another clay section in the north, and there'll be another bay further on called Sudland Bay. But it's effectively where you've got these differing bands of rock, which is called a discordant coastline, which is what leads to the formation of headlands where the rocks stick out and bays where they curve inwards.